Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us reflect on the 21st Sunday in the ordinary time. Jesus Christ gave Himself in a sacrificial offering on the cross as the Lamb of Sacrifice. And we go to the readings of this Sunday. We are continuing the sixth chapter of St. John in the Gospel. Now towards the end, we know Jesus Christ told the people, My flesh is true food, my blood is true drink. But the people cannot accept this. The people started leaving away. And Jesus didn't, didn't change his language. He continued to dare them to believe in him. But people start leaving. This is a hard teaching. He asked now his apostles, you and I, even today he asked, are you also going to leave? Because in our time and context, we know we have hard teachings in our faith. We have hard truths that we cannot ignore and we cannot deny. We cannot just say, oh, this ones I don't like, this one I like, this one that I do not like, very hard. I will not bring them into my daily existence. No. So he asked his apostles and his apostles through St. Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. This means from the gospel, he will give himself a sacrifice. He will make his body broken, his blood poured for our salvation and for our nourishment in eternal life, in divine life. So also he asked from us the same vow of loyalty, the same pledge of commitment in our discipleship that Jesus committed himself to us to give himself. Can we also commit ourselves in giving, in, in imitating Jesus Christ himself? We have to imitate what St. Peter and the apostles said. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of it and I. The same disposition is what we read from the first reading. The first reading, we are given the narrative of how Joshua was exhorting the people, the chosen people, saying, you have now to make a choice and to make a decision. You either must serve and obey God or choose other gods. You cannot have both. But me and my household, we will serve the Lord. This means that in the first reading, Joshua and his family became the model for other people to become committed to the covenant with God. The words of Joshua is a pledge of service, whole life, totally lived for God. And so the people also said, far be it from us, we too will choose God. And we will serve God in this kind of pledge of service and the committed discipleship in the gospel. The same disposition we are being asked in the second reading. In that, the model he gave himself for the church. This also must the church imitate and do. You see, in the second reading, St. Paul says that all wives must be subordinate to their husbands and husbands must love their wives just as Christ loved his church. In reciprocation to the love and to the self-giving of Jesus Christ the Lord, to her, she also must give her life in subordination to Christ, obedience to Christ, application to marriage. It is also the same way. The word is subordination. Very hard to swallow, especially to our, our sensibilities of our time. But it is not about the anti-womanhood, etc. But rather, it is a subordination of love. It is a reciprocation of love to what the husband can do to the family and to the wife, 
So the wife as well in reciprocation, in total self-giving to the husband and to the family must be done. And so also now into our time and context application to our Christian life that you and I, just as Jesus has given himself to us, every time we offer the sacrifice of the Holy Eucharist, Jesus is giving his life to us. Jesus is giving his body being broken, his blood being poured, his divine life outpouring into our life. So too, our lives in everything, in mentality, in our desires, in our decision makings, all of that must be modified by our faith and love of Jesus Christ. So for this Sunday, I want to suggest one thing, one thing is the giving to learn to give to Christ everything that we are to learn to give to Christ in an escalating manner in the growing and developing manner we give ourselves in our prayer life we give ourselves into living out the virtues and in growing in virtues we give ourselves in trying indeed to grow in sanctification of life we give ourselves in everything that is good that is truthful that is godly many times what happens is we are just very good in the receiving and not so much in the giving the patience of others the understanding of others the mercy and compassion of others but we fall short we are hesitant ourselves to be patient, to be understanding, to be um, merciful and forgiving to others. So this Sunday, let us develop a pursuit that we have to grow in the giving of ourselves to Jesus Christ, giving of ourselves to living out the word of God, giving ourselves into trying indeed to become another Christ give from what God has given us able to give not from the extra but from the very gifts God has given us many times we are easy to give when it comes to the blessings that we have the extra of it but we do not touch whatever really God has given us but yes. then again we have to re-examine how are, how are we blessed? Time, talent, and treasures. How do we share to others? As I've said, very easy to share the extra, but very hard to give from what really we are given. Let us try to think of this, because in the 21st Sunday in the ordinary time, we cannot deny how much God has given, He outpoured into us. And so also you and I must now respond to him. We learn to give in the way he give us. We learn to be generous to others. Our life will grow and project to others the very life of Jesus Christ in our time. God bless. In the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe if you have done so. Give us a thumbs up and share this video to others.